Hey there, this is Straight Talk, No Sugar Added. Life topics the way I see them. I'm your host, Nina Perez. I am here to challenge and transform your thinking. No excuses. Let's do this. Welcome back, Straight Talkers. This is your host, Nina Perez. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about what's your dash? So you're probably thinking, what is she talking about? Well, I'll tell you. I was doing a memorial this past weekend for my beautiful niece and family we have lost. And I started thinking about the tombstones and how we always have like born in, you know, 1-1-1918 dash died, you know, 3-5 you know, 1995 or whatever. And then I started thinking, what about the dash, right? I was thinking that we have a beginning, dash, and the end. But as I was praying at this memorial for our loved ones, I thought about my faith and the fact that because I have the faith that I have, I really do believe that I will be once again with my family. And that brings me comfort to know that. But then I thought about, you know, all the ones, all of us that are left behind or those that we leave behind, right? What will they say about the dash in between those two dates? Born on this day, dash, died on this day. I know for certain that I don't want to be just a day that I was born and the day that I died. But I want it to be about the dash, how I lived. How did I affect you? How did I affect the people around me, my family? How did I befriend who I befriended? You know, what was my reputation on this earth? What did I leave behind? What is the dash? That's what I want people to know or think about when I pass away. I don't want it to be sad. I mean, the truth is, is when we pass away, we pass away. That is a part of life, right? It's the day we're born, live, 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 day we die. But what is the live, live, live part? What is the dash? I mean, I don't need to be famous. I don't need to be wealthy. I don't need to have any of that. But but I do want a good reputation. I believe that a good reputation is makes you richer than gold. So what is your dash? You know, in Proverbs 22, 1, it says a sterling reputation is better than striking it rich. And a gracious spirit is better than money in the bank. Wow. That speaks a lot to me because a reputation to me is striking it rich. You know, I didn't always have a good reputation. I wasn't always who I am today, right? When we're younger, we do stupid things. We say mean things. We do dumb things. We make huge mistakes. But what is our reputation from this point, right? I mean, we go in life so fast. We are moving at a high speed at all times, right? We can't get a grip sometimes on the life we have or even the loved ones we have because it goes around so fast. I mean, we running around, we are dashing around, missing all the beauty of life, all the beauty that life has to offer because we are so self-consumed, right? We are so self-consumed. I mean, life is already hard, but I guarantee you that it's going to be temporary because our life is temporary. But sometimes we get so self-consumed, we get into depression, anxiety, and, and worry, and all of those things because we cannot get out of our own selves. And we're missing it, right? We are going through and dashing around quickly. So the average person, they say, lives around 78.7 years. I looked it up. The average age in the U.S. is 78.7 years. That's not a lot. I started to think, you know, right now I'm 46. So if I believe that my average age will be 78.7 years, that means I have 33.5 years left. 
I believe God is going to give me a beautiful and long life. But let's just use these numbers as an example. I mean, we're not even promised tomorrow. We're not even promised later today. That means that I only have 33 more Christmases. 33 more summers. 33 more birthdays. 33 more Thanksgivings. You get what I'm saying? You get my point? I mean, it totally changes it when you see it in moments instead of years. We are dashing around life and we are missing the beauty this life has to offer. We are missing it. Maybe some of us are taking a pause and saying, you know what? I'm not missing it. I make sure that I enjoy every moment. I am not one of those. I am really looking at life right now and saying, I've missed a lot of beauty in this life because I have been self-consumed. Because I worry about my finances and my children and their finances. Because I worry about, you know, work. Am I doing a good job? Because I worry about being perfect. I worry about all of those things. I used to worry about my depression and all of that, but I don't get depressed anymore. Thank God. But it changes everything. It changed everything for me when I saw these years, right? Because if you say you have 33.5 more years left, that sounds like a long time, but it really isn't. It changes it when you change it into moments. 33 more Christmases, really? That's like my favorite time of year is the holiday season. I love it. I feel like a little kid. So what will people say about your dash? You know, are they going to say things like, man, they lived in so much fear. Did you live in fear? Are you in fear? Fear is a lie. It's false evidence appearing real. That's what fear means. False evidence appearing real. Is that your dash? Living your life in fear? Will they say that uh, you never did what you dreamed of or what you planned? Is that your dash? That you never did what you dreamed of or what you planned? Is that your dash? Will they say that you weren't kind, that you weren't loving, that you weren't fair, that you weren't honest? Is that your dash? What is your reputation? What are you leaving behind? Were you kind? Were you loving? Were you fair? Were you honest? Are you living up to your dreams, what you want to do? Are you doing what you planned? Are you living bold or are you living in fear? What is your dash? What are people going to say about she was born on this day? This is her life. And then she passed away doing it. What is your dash? From your birth to right now. It can't be changed. What you've done, you've done. It's done. What From your birth to right now, it cannot be changed, right? Because you cannot change yesterday. You cannot change a second ago. You cannot change a minute ago. It is done. But from this very moment and this very day to the end, you absolutely can change it. So you can change from this moment to the end of your dash, You can change it. So go for it. Conquer it. Take life by the horns and pull that sucker down. And while you are reaching your goals and fullness of your calling and who you are, make sure that you do it with the right type of spirit that is worthy of your dash. Make your dash count. Make it something that is going to be life changing, not just for you, but for whoever else met you who's ever been in your life even for a little bit right have a spirit that is full of love and joy and peace and patience and kindness of goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control let me repeat that be the kind of spirit be that kind of person that is full of love and joy and peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. 
Be the type of person who is living up to their dreams, who is doing what they have planned. Be a person who is kind and loving. You're fair and you're honest. Be the type of person who is bold. And they're going to say, you know what? Nina was bold. She didn't live in fear. She took fear by the horns and she tore that sucker down. That's the kind of person I want to be. I always tell my children and I'm telling you, do it afraid. Do it anyway. If you're scared because you don't know what's going to happen or what the turnout is, screw it. Do it anyway. Do it afraid. Because once you conquer it, you are no longer afraid of it. And now you're on the other side of it. Now you're waiting for that next thing to come and try to bully you around. So you are going to now think about what is my dash? I cannot change yesterday and the past, but I can definitely change this moment until the end of my dash. Be that kind of person. Be the person that goes for it and conquers it and takes change. You are worthy of it. Thank you, straight talkers. I cannot wait to hear how you took life by the horns and made your dash count. What is your dash? This is Nina Perez. Straight talk. No sugar added.